This is a, you guys see a big hole when he's shooting at this, uh, in this building, in this game. I mean, got credit to him. And it's, you know, we know what a big game it is, and we approached it the right way, and I'm proud of our guys for that, because, I mean, if you look at our schedule, we played in some doozies already, and, uh, you know, it, it, it's sometimes hard to be up every night, but they had a great approach, and, you know, we, uh, we do a, our staff and you know he's bringing the football staff and they educate them on what this rivalry means because they know it better than we do and you know so it's important and we, we played like it's important you brought in the football staff to fire up the boys about this rivalry we always have who, and who talked to it's the team? uh coach harson okay. yeah what day was it he did it yesterday okay. was, so, did you share the message at all or what well, memories it, you know those things are always in private but the, the reason I do I do that is because he's lived it. I mean, he's played in 15 of them, and he grew up here, went to Capitol High School, and watched Boise State basketball. He knows what it is. We've got a we've got a, a group of guys that, that don't know how important it is and don't know what it means. And so, you know, I want our guys to understand the history of it. And that's you know, there, there's no better people than to give that history. And Coach Pete went, you know, five and zero, and now Harsh is one and zero. So <laughs> why hire was the start tonight? Uh, we, we're just trying to find the right combinations, and you know I, that's been probably part of our problem as far as how we're not clicking. You know, when I say we're not, you know, our offenses are running smooth. Part of it is because of the, the combinations. Of the yeah. like to kind of mix up your game. A I mean, bit. It was good. Uh, you know, working on that on the off season, so it's good to you know finally um, you know use that in the game. And, um, yeah, so it was good to get down low and you know show what I you know I've been working on the off season. And, Hopefully I can do that, you know, the next couple of games against, you know, NC State and some uh, bigger teams. How much fun is a game like this, the back and forth of the crowd and everything? It just seemed like they never went away and their crowd would get into it, and you guys, it seemed like probably a fun game to play. Oh, yeah, it was, you know, it's, it's a great game to always play in Idaho versus BSU, and, um, you know, with the half-half crowd, it's great to, you know, go down one end and, you know, they're going for the other team to come back, and, you know, BSU's going nice for us. So, yeah, it's a great game. The atmosphere is great, and, you know, the adrenaline's pumping through the whole game, especially at the end there, you know, going down the stretch, you know, so it was, it was a great game. Thoughts on Scott, how he played for Idaho? Yeah, he's great. You know, he came off. I think we, you know, had a few mental errors there going under the, you know, under the on balls instead of going over the top and switching at the end there. So he had a great game shooting the shooting the lights out of there, the three. So he gave us a lot of troubles there, but it was good to yeah. overcome there and you know, get the get the lead at the end. Seems like Derek always plays well against these guys, especially. Just how, how big was that for you guys? I mean, I, yeah, he needs to play for the, the Stampede. I think he I think he had just like 35 points here or something. But you know, it was great to you know finally see Derek come back to you know how how he's you know, how he plays normally and. Um, you know, I think he's, he's strong. I think you know this game is going to be really good for the upcoming games with his confidence level and you know coming back from his knee injury. I think you know Wisconsin was yeah he was good, but you know that's that's a real D marks right there. And I think you know coming up to NC State and these bigger games are some areas that we need him more than anything. And you know, it's great to see him back to his full potential. You see 31. I mean, I didn't even look at it. But okay. Well, you had 31. I was uh, well, I, I mean, I don't know. But, uh, <laughs> I'm just happy we won. Derek, what, what does this game mean to you guys? I mean, you, you in particular, finally, you mentioned that it, you know you haven't had many games back from your knee injury and knee surgery or whatever. How did it feel to get into a rhythm and, and produce that many points? I mean, it feels good. Uh, and my teammates found me uh, in the spots that I, uh, I needed to be in. Um, the coaches were calling the right plays. And with my teammates making shots, they can't help. So and I was playing to my strength with penetrating to the best. Do you guys feel like you really clicked for the first time offensively tonight? Yeah, I think tonight and we play well in offensively. You know, and, and they know that. Um, he's just a damn good player. I got, I got no answer for him. If I, if I would have had it, I wouldn't let him have 100 points in four games. And it's probably more than that. It's like 104, I think. Yeah. How much fun is, is this game with, with the crowd and the rivalry? And it seems like it's always back and forth. And it's, Oh, this game is fun. You know, we enjoy coming down here. We like to get one at home, uh, no question about it, for the Northern Bandits. I mean, you know, it's, uh, when you play in front of your home fans for 17, 18 games a year, to, to take the biggest game away from it's disappointing for our home fans. But, you know, we look forward to coming down here. We always look forward uh, to playing Boise State because of the rivalry. And we look forward to the competition. I mean, we're not going to have to look forward to this game. Yesterday, you were praising Mike and how much he's made some improvements kind of in the offseason and stuff like that. And obviously tonight, just kind of continue that improvement. What's what's impressed you most about what he's done this year? Mike's worth it. I mean, you know, it, it started at the end of last season. I mean, he went to work. He went to work on his body. Um, you know, he's a lot stronger. He's a lot faster. He's always been a good player. Uh, you know, and I think that's really it gave him a lot of confidence. 
I mean, you know, it's just the turnover ratio is like 17 to 1 or something. I mean, um, he, he's our team captain, he's voted our team captain, and, he, and he's playing like one should play. I mean, not just from an offensive end, but from every intangible spot on the floor. Him and Sack have both done a great job uh, leading this basketball team at this point. What we got to do is find a way to get win one of these. Is this the last year?